Good morning friends. I'm Dr. Sukhbir Singh, board certified plastic cosmetic surgeon from New Delhi. Today I'm going to talk to you regarding facelift surgery. Facelift surgery is also known as rhytidectomy in which we do multiple plication of the underlying mass and the other layer and redrape the tissue in such a way that you get a more youthful and decreased wrinkle look. Facelift nowadays can be combined with a lot of other procedures to get an overall youthful look. Let's understand that when aging process takes place, there are two things which are happening. One is the descent of the tissues that means the tissues are sagging downwards and secondly there's a volume loss which is happening so for correction of the descent of tissues we have to lift the tissues in a very natural way for lifting the tissues which is typically seen in a patient whether it is a male or a female of about 50 years or plus or some people they age even earlier like 45 and above depending upon the various comorbidities the patient can have so if the patient has a lot of sagging skin, especially the jowl area, there's no defined jawline, the folds have become too prominent, the cheeks have descended downwards, the neck is showing too much descent and a lot of crinkly and wrinkly skin, then yes, you are right candidate for facelift. So whenever a patient comes to us, we evaluate that which all areas are affecting the patient, whether it is the cheeks and the jawline or it's the cheeks, jawline and even the neck which is bothering the patient. The patient can have excess fat deposit in the chin that is called a double chin. That's why in a facelift surgery, we can combine various procedures like correction of your double chin, raising your cheek, your jawline. Also, it's very important to examine the eyes and the eyelid. One of the first signs of aging is that your upper eyelid starts sagging downward. Even your intraorbital fat, it starts herniating out, giving you a very tired look. So all these procedures like blepharoplasty, upper and lower blepharoplasty, your eyebrow lift, which can sag with age, your cheek lift, your jawline lift and neck can be all done together in a single surgery. So all this has to be discussed with the patient during the initial consultation and once the patient is convinced and tries to understand what all can be accomplished in a surgery, both the surgeon and the patient finally agree to a particular solution which the patient really wants, which will fit him and give him a more youthful look. Now let's understand that the facelift surgery involves a surgical incision. So typically the incision is the pre auricular incision that means it is around the ear and it can go behind the ear depending upon what are the areas we are going to address. So if I am talking about a mini facelift that means a short scar facelift the scar typically remains near your anterior part of the ear and a bit in the hairline but if you have to do correction of your cheek, jawline and even your neck area then my incision goes behind, far behind the ear, that means on the posterior aspect of the ear, it's called the extended facelift or the full facelift, which can be done. After the incision is made, we place various sutures to align your face in a particular way so as to give you a natural and youthful look and all the tissues are plicated and pulled upwards in a very natural way. Secondly, depending upon what all areas need to be done, the duration of surgery is determined. Typically, when we're doing a mini facelift, it takes an average of about two to three hours for both sides. But if you have to do a full facelift, along with maybe a blepharoplasty or an eyebrow lift, the duration can last as long as four to five hours. The entire surgery is done under general anesthesia. So you are not aware and you are not having any pain during the procedure. So be rest assured, you'll be very comfortable and the recovery is very, very smooth. Understand that facelift surgery involves a lot of dissection of your facial tissues and face swells up a lot. The edema occurs, that means swelling occurs in the face. Now the swelling can take as long as three to four weeks to go off. Sometimes it decreases in as little as two to three, three weeks. This all depends upon, first of all, how is your body style? What's your normal recovery time? That means whenever you ever had hit, how quickly you healed. Okay, 
So if you heal very fast, the swelling also goes fast. So recovery after facelift, typically we say two to three weeks because in three weeks you are ready. Your swelling is mostly about 60 to 70 percent gone and you can resume your normal activities after that. But sometimes in patients who are already taking cardiac medications like aspirin and other medicine like clobidogrel, obviously the recovery can be slightly more delayed. The bruising can last a bit longer, but overall the recovery is within three to four weeks time and patient can be back to normalcy by three to four weeks. So facelift surgery is a daycare procedure. It's a very safe surgery overall. So the benefits are that you get a more youthful skin. You can get a tighter skin. Yes, we can combine a lot of procedures along with facelift surgery like we can do fat grafting where the volume loss has occurred. We can do upper and lower eyelid blasties. We can do an eyebrow lift. We can do a jawline reshaping for you. We can do a neck lift for you. So these are the procedures which can be combined along with the facelift surgery to give you overall natural and youthful look. Rarely, yes, complications do occur as in any surgery. We may have some nerve injury, but that might be just a partial, you know, it, it might be just a partial injury and it recovers very quickly. Other things like bruising, and other complications are very very common and within three to four weeks they usually subside depending upon what are medications you have been taking or how's your tendency of the skin recovery time thank you